Station News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Yes, smoky out there over Lake Oroville. Here's a live look from our Bloomer camera. Yeah, but it feels a little bit, just a little bit cooler out there. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff with us now. Jason, what are we looking at as this smoke kind of settles in? Yeah, unfortunately, we have a lot of smoke in the foreseeable future right now for most of Northern California, and that's going to be the way it is because we don't have a lot of wind in our forecast. Uh, a lack of wind is a good thing because we don't want it to accentuate all the fires that we already have burning. However, we still have a lot of smoke to deal with, and that's going to be the same situation going forward. Taking a live look outside, you can see how smoky it is over mainly Butte County. County, but also it certainly is over Tehama County and Shasta County too. And the temperatures, despite that smoke, have still been fairly hot for this time of year. Mainly 80s and lower 90s for us right now in Chico, 93 degrees. We also have plenty of 90s for Redding as well as in Red Bluff. And we're going to have more of the same smoke in the air for the next several days. Now looking at our fire danger forecast, we're still going to have lots of hot, smoky, dry weather going forward. Temperatures stay between 90 and and 100 degrees for tomorrow for the valleys as well as the foothills. The wind will not be strong, so with the smoke that we have and the smoke that gets generated, we're still going to have to deal with going forward. The humidity also really low, between 10 and 25 percent. Now, as far as that wind is concerned, it's going to allow our fire danger to be mainly in the moderate category, but still locally in the high category because it's so dry and so hot for the final day of September tomorrow. Right now, it's 80 degrees in Mount Shasta. It's 90 in Redding, 91 degrees in Red Bluff, 93 degrees in Chico and 95 hot degrees in Corning. That despite so much smoke in the air, everyone's wind is less than 10 miles an hour. And look how low, even for this time of year, how low all the humidity is on this side of the mountains. It's mainly between 10 and 20 percent. It's up to 93 percent, though, in Eureka with the marine layer. So as you can see, no clouds over interior northern California. And that's the way it's going to be. Looking at future cast, hour by hour, we're still going to have plenty of sunshine filtered through all the haze and smoke going forward. So that will be the story for us as we move into the last day of September and in the first few days of October. And also looking at future cast for our wind, it is not going to be strong. So again, the smoke that we have is a smoke that we're going to have to deal with for quite some time. No widespread wind anywhere at or above 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's going to be fairly light for us going forward. So here's your forecast for the final day of September tomorrow. It's still going to be awfully warm, but also plenty of smoke in the air for Trinity County and the rest of the northern mountains. Highs tomorrow will be mainly in the 80s. Same thing for the Sierra. We're going to have some more smoke in the air. It's going to be pretty warm for this time of year. Daytime highs in the 80s for the Ridge, 80s and lower 90s. Not cooling down very much overnight, and it's going to be heating up tomorrow afternoon. A high of 92 degrees for Paradise. For the Valley tonight, we'll have lows in the 50s and the 60s, still plenty of haze and smoke in the air. Highs a little bit higher than it was today. Mid to upper 90s from Redding southward all the way to Corning and Red Buff. And for the Chico area, well, lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. A hazy start to a smoky day. Daytime highs in the mid to upper 90s. And each and every day, all the way through the first week of October, still going to be above average for Chico with highs in the 90s. There's a modest cooling trend, but it's not going to cool down very much. And for Redding, we're going to have more mid to upper 90s tomorrow through Saturday. Lower 90s starting on Sunday. All right. Thanks a lot.